guys and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be swatching all 15 shades of the new Revlon gel lip colors. They launched recently and I went to CVS to go pick up a shade or two and I ended up getting all of the shades so I could do a swatch video for you guys. And I decided to go with the more simple background for this video because it's kind of a product focused video and you guys mentioned that in the comments when I asked you what background you liked better. So that's why there's another change in the background. I'll probably be switching it up depending on the type of video. And if you're new here, welcome. So glad to have you. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. So since most of you are probably here to see the actual swatches, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. But stick around to the end if you want to hear my thoughts on the actual product.
and I'm back. So I want to go ahead and get into my thoughts on the product. It's been a couple of days since I filmed that swatch video just so I could play around with the formula and really formulate an opinion to share. But before we get into it, I want to read you guys Revlon's description of the product. It says on their website, Get high definition, lightweight color with the new Ultra HD Gel Lipstick. Intensely hydrating formula with hyaluronic acid, available in 15 high definition shades. And then the features that they claim these lipsticks have are an ultra hydrating formula with hyaluronic acid, vibrant color pigments suspended in clear gel base, creamy mango and whipped vanilla fragrance, precision tip designed to sculpt lips for a seductive look and 15 high definition shades. So you guys just saw all of the 15 shades and I wanna get into the rest of my thoughts. These retail for anywhere from $7.99 to $9.99, at least from what I've seen. They were $9.99 at CVS, but they're $7.99 at Walmart right now and I believe $8.99 at Target. So as it said in the features on Revlon's website, these definitely have a scent. It's a good scent, I like the way it smells, and I can definitely notice it as I'm putting it on, but once it's already on my lips, I don't smell it anymore. It's not something that you're gonna smell all day while you have this on. It's pretty tame once it's on the lips. And as you guys saw, these have a kind of glossy finish, and they glide on beautifully. I love that about this product, is it glides on like silk, and it does feel super lightweight on the lips and really, really moisturizing, which I also love about this product. This is not a long-lasting product. You're not gonna get like a liquid lipstick staying power out of this. I don't think you would expect that. It doesn't claim to do that, but I just wanted to throw that out there. These are not going to be super long lasting, but they last longer than a typical gloss would. So I would say they're somewhere in between the staying power of a lipstick and a gloss. And as far as the pigmentation goes, these are hit or miss. So some of them were super, super pigmented, like shockingly pigmented. And then others were more like a sheen on the lips, more like what you would expect with a gloss. And the two best examples of that are 740, which is like this coral color. I'm just going to do one swipe of this on my hand. You can see it's pigmented, but it's pretty sheer. And then if you compare that to this one, which is 745, and as I was applying this, I was like, what? I'm sure you guys saw in the swatches. But if you compare that to 745, just one swipe of this, you can see they both have pretty good pigmentation, but this is more like a sheen or a gloss, whereas this one is more like a real lipstick. It's like an opaque lipstick. And then same thing with those last two purples. So this was like the second to last purple, where it's kind of like a sheen, a like pretty see-through gloss. And then this last purple, which was 770, is like a lipstick. So as you guys can see, some are definitely more pigmented than others. I wouldn't say like this is HD color, but I would definitely say that this is HD color. I don't mind the formula of the ones that are less pigmented. Like I said, it's like a sheen or a gloss on the lips and it looks really beautiful, but I don't love the fact that there's a lack of consistency in terms of pigmentation. And if I had to pick my top two shades, it would definitely be 700, which is the first one I tried on and the one that I'm wearing right now in this video. And then my second favorite would be 740 which is the second one that I just swatched to show you guys the pigmentation. This one's so pigmented. It took me by surprise as I was making the swatch video. This is kind of like a red lipstick with a little bit of like a fuchsia undertone. And then the last thing I'll say is that this formula is very similar to the NYX Plush gel lipsticks. If any of you guys have tried these gel lipsticks, they both glide on like silk, feel really beautiful and lightweight on the lips. But the differences that I see are that I think the NYX Plush gel lipsticks are more pigmented than these consistently across all of the shades. These are very pigmented. That said, they don't feel moisturizing at all, and these have hyaluronic acid in them and feel really, really moisturizing on the lips. The NYX formula also dries just a tad bit more matte than these. I'll show you guys an up-close swatch of the two of these. The top one is the NYX one, the NYX gel lipstick, and the bottom is the Revlon gel lipstick. You can see that the NYX one is more opaque, more pigmented, and a little bit more matte than the Revlon one, but they're both beautiful formulas. So that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below which shade was your favorite, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.